Three to five million people uh, die each year of water-related disease. It affects every sector. You know, it, it affects health, it affects education, it affects productivity, industry, um, agriculture, everything. Without equitable access to it, it really does compromise uh, a community's opportunity to thrive. Water has amazing uh, capacity, it has amazing potential to equalize and nourish in that the smallest plant and the richest man need it to survive. So what a place for us to agree, what a place for us to start the conversation, and actually potentially a place for us to create the foundation of cooperation and collaboration. Now enter a single drop for safe water. We work building capacity of local stakeholders to be able to partner in the provision of sustainable water and sanitation services. With the support of the NGOs, the LGUs, and a single drop for safe water, we help build their capacity to be able to identify their own needs, to uh, identify the appropriate technology that they want to implement, and then to be able to create the organization that can maintain it. When people think of water and the provision of water, they don't think they think, why don't you just build a well? Why don't you just build a system? Why don't you just, you know, uh, dig a toilet? And, um, and, you know, there's so much more to sustainability than just the technology. These projects are funder-driven. They're focused on the funder's agenda and the funder's priorities. Our model really, really focuses on uh, being, a, being able to build the capacity of local stakeholders to make their own decisions from start to finish. So my question to you all is, in looking at this model from a single drop for safe water all the way down to the stakeholders, is this a franchisable model? And how, if, if so, how can we scale? What is the downside to not addressing this? You know, basically we walk into these, into these communities trusting their wisdom, trusting the wisdom of, of, of what they know about their communities, what, what they know of their, of their resources, and, and just helping them rethink how they can, they can use it efficiently and effectively. <laughs> The franchise model that I'm thinking about is, is more about a single drop for safe water, the actual entity, the organization that we run. At how That's the part that needs to be strengthened. The technology will always be there and that it'll always be something easy to implement. But the social structures that need to be addressed in making sure that they're sustainable, that the information is institutionalized, is, is a hard thing to sell, if you will. And, and, yeah. and to me, it's not, it's not cost effective. Yeah. And yet, part of what we see happening in development is not just how things need to change on the ground, but how need to, things need to change in the operations of NGOs and actually how things need to change in terms of funders and investments to ensure that everyone has access to clean water and sanitation just ensures not only a life of, of you know, survival, but a life of opportunity.